Hi. So today we are going to talk about a massage tool which is called Gua Sha. So I'm going to answer questions like what, how and why and also I'm going to demonstrate how to use this tool and at the end I'm going to share the benefits and special tips about Gua Sha. So watch till the end to know everything you need to know about Gua Sha. Let's get started. So firstly, what is Gua Sha? So Gua Sha is originated from China. It's their ancient medicine tool where they used to use this to scrape the body of a person. So the facial Gua Sha is a modified version of the authentic Gua Sha tool. Next question is how does this Gua Sha works? So in our body we have this stagnant energy and because of which there is kind of inflammation and inflammation leads to some other other you know uh, disease or some kind of a skin disorder and even physical pain so gua sha targets that stagnant energy when you massage your body with the gua sha tool it's gonna break that energy and it helps in reducing the inflammation and also it helps in blood circulation so next question is what are these gua sha's made of so for the authentic or the professional uses the gua sha's are made of uh, gemstones or uh, animal horns or animal bones basically made of natural materials and uh, the gua sha's which are widely used they are made of either jade or rose quartz or any mineral rich stones. So this one I had bought from Amazon and this is made of uh, jade. If you have not watched my other video about jade roller which is the other type of facial uh, massaging tool, I'm going to attach that video with this video. So unlike that jade roller, this technique of facial massaging it's not really you know dependent on the contact between the skin and the stone so it's just about the strokes or the massaging techniques which are uh, significant or which are important in this kind of facial the gua sha facial so to be frank it you know, doesn't matter what this is made of so whatever it might be it might be jade or it might be rose quartz or any other uh, stone this gua sha is going to work for you so next and basic question before starting the demonstration is what are the things you need for gua sha facial technique so for gua sha facial technique you just need a gua sha which is obvious and secondly you need any of your favorite skincare product be it serum be it your night cream or be it a moisturizer or a face mist so the main purpose here is you need to keep your skin you know a bit oily or you can use the facial oil as well so you just need to keep your face moist or smooth before applying this um, massage techniques so let's get started let's start by applying the skincare product i'm using the lineage sleeping mask and be generous while applying this product take the gua sha and let's start with the neck as you can see the longer side of the gua sha is used for massaging your neck in this stroke i'm gonna start from base of my neck i'll go upwards till my jawline like this so five to ten strokes should be enough then this surface is used for massaging the middle area of the neck like this next comes the jawline again i'm using this surface for massaging the jawline like this i'll start from the middle 
till my ears like this now using the not straight but this side of the gua sha for covering this side of your face this much face like right from bottom of your lips till the ears next is under eye area as you already know it's very delicate and you need to apply minimum pressure so it starts from here here next is nose bridge again with this part it's very easy like this. this is where all your tensions are so this is going to relax so again this one and like this so the your eyebrow area comes in between these edges like this next is forehead where our maximum tensions are so what we are gonna do is I'm gonna take this side not the curvy side the other side and Starting from your eyebrow, go upwards. Next question, how many times do we use this gua sha? So this gua sha is supposed to be used thrice a week. It is more than sufficient to show all the results. The most awaited part of this video, the benefits, why we need to use gua sha. So firstly, the upward stroke you have seen that helps in lifting your skin and firming your skin. And secondly, as I said before, the massage technique, whatever it might be, that helps in the blood circulation. Gua Sha massage helps in reducing the puffiness. If you have the puffy area especially under your eyes with the gua sha massage you can reduce that puffiness next is with the regular use of gua sha you can reduce fine lines and wrinkles next is the absorption of the product so as you have seen you are going to apply the product and then massage using gua sha so that helps your skin to absorb that product and make the best out of the product so gua sha helps in better absorption of the product it reduces the tension from your face neck and shoulder literally so if you massage it here and this video is specific for facial massage so i'm not going to talk more about shoulder and neck but yes i did talk about talked about neck and it does reduces the tension and stress over there if you want the for, for the shoulder you have to massage like this from here till here so i'm not gonna talk more about that in this video so yes to de-stress yourself and these body parts of yours you need to use gua sha now comes the special tips first and foremost you have to apply some product for some skin products on your skin before getting started with gua sha. As I said, you should not massage or you should not use a facial tool before, you know, on a dry skin because it's going to cause friction and it's going to cause damage to your skin. So it's a big no-no on a dry skin. So please apply any product before using a facial massage tool so if you have pimples or any open wound on your skin please do not use this tool because it's gonna trigger that uh, you know or it's gonna worsen the situation so that's why please stay away from it so if you have sunburn this tool is a no-no so if you are someone who uses retinol or someone who uses chemical peels or exfoliators 
this gua sha tool is not recommended for you so while using this tool make sure you are applying little to medium pressure because if you apply more pressure which is like more than needed it's gonna end up in breaking your skin or damaging it so you don't want to do, do that so that's why please apply little to medium pressure only next is if you order this tool online make sure all these edges are you know nice or they are just blunt because if there is any single crack it's going to be a sharp you know um, what you call the surface and because of the sharp surface you might end up um, end up with small cuts on your face because your face skin is obviously very smooth and yes i don't want you to get hurt so please whenever you buy this online just make sure by touching all the edges that there is no any damage or there is no sharp edges as such so these were the things i wanted to talk about gua sha i hope you find this video useful and also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also share this video with your friends and family who love to take care of their skin and like who love beauty and all girly stuff and also you can share it with your boys friends who love to take care of their skin so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye bye